You can read my brother as I prepare myself. Nundo nilili kanete mwikio ute uh, ute na wanganga nyo una uh, una we na wo uh, una tene waina uswe waku noise na waina mwenyu eh you uh, units na nini tikili tebiu kana na kukwe na wo Bible says, for I am reminded of the sincere faith uh, which lived in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. And no. I am persuaded now lives in you also. Nundu nili nundu nili lika nete mwikio ute na wanganga nyo. Ula we na wo. Na ula tene wai na uswe wa Lois. Na wai na mwenyu Eunice. Na nini tikili tepio kana na uwe na uwo. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you because of your holy word this morning. I want to invite your presence in this sanctuary this morning. And I pray that, Father, as we get to study your word, that the grace to teach your word is going to be available. I, I pray that your presence may be with us. Holy Spirit of God, help us to understand about faith. And Lord, may also uh, my Father apply faith in your word. Because we learned that it is it is impossible to please you without faith. So Father, we want to please you. Help us to understand what faith is. In Jesus' name, and do pray and do believe. Our subtopic today is what is faith. And now where we have seen in Second Timothy chapter one verse five. Na dvalato asoma Timothy wa kile kile kuchambe mosawa katano. Paul said to Timothy, "He had a sincere faith." Ah, Paulo emwe Timothy oni none tewe na muiki owa wo. And a qualified faith. Muiki o mwe adeu. Ah, sincere and a qualified faith. Muiki o kula wa wo. Praise the name of our living God. Amen. And by this he is telling him the source from which he got his faith. He says he knew this faith that was in him. It was the faith that was in his uh, uh, grandmother and his mother. Praise the name of Alleluia God. Achayomwe. And he say and I'm persuaded it now lives in you. Na asia you nini ki di fe kana mweki o we ndeni wa kuyu. That means that Paul had a testimony of Lois uh, and the testimony of Lois that the grandmother of uh, uh, the, 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 the testimony of grandmother of uh, Timothy and also his mother. Uh, uh, Neto hizi ona nya kana Paulo aina ukusi wa uswe wa, wa Timotheo na inya wake. Lois and Eunice, they were sincere Christians. Uh, Lois and Eunice, I my at least to my work. And Timothy had learned about Christ through his grandmother and and his mother. Na Timothy, I am now man that you at least to face the so it was a sincere faith. A qualified faith. A faith that could be traced. There are people who believe God, but they do things you have question mark. Because we don't know who brought them in the faith in the Christian faith. You see somebody trying to manipulate the scriptures to mean what they want. That is not a sincere faith. True faith is based on the solid teachings of the word of God. Faith as its foundation of the word of God. Faith as its foundation on the word of God. 
God has promised in His word. That this the faith is based. Because faith normally comes. And it comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So, it has a faith. Uh, and it, it, it is based on hearing and hearing the word of God. You don't just imagine things that you believe. Like we normally say, I believe it's going to rain today. That is imagination. That is not faith. Faith is when you operate it when God has said it. And that's why Paul is telling his, uh, his son Timothy that he had a sincere Faith. Number two, and the Bible defines faith as the substance of things hoped for. Yeah. In the substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. According to the word of God in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Faith is the substance. It is the evidence. The substance and the evidence. Look at the Kikamba translation and see what, what the, 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 the Bible talks about there. Hebrews 11 verse 1 The Bible says Now faith is Confidence in what is On what we hope for And assurance of, uh, of what we do Not see so, so faith is the substance of the things hoped for. The evidence of the things not seen. So even when they ask you what is the definition of faith? According to the word of God. Faith in the substance of the things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. Therefore, faith is in the present tense. Faith is believes now. It is in the present tense. But when you say tomorrow it's going to, to rain, that is hope. Hope is in the future. Things that may happen in the future. But the, but the things of now it is a matter of faith. You believe it now. Because God has said it about us said, something about it now. And it has happened in the future. Amen. Amen. The word substance. Uh, uh, from the Greek language means assurance. Uh, no, no, confidence. Confirmation. The things you hope for becomes real and substantial through faith. So the word substance means assurance, confidence, and confirmation. So if faith is there is the substance, uh, then it means uh, faith, then it means that uh, faith is that assurance. That confidence, that confirmation, it must happen. Remember, faith is a substance. And you are saying, uh, substance is the assurance, confirmation, and uh, confidence. Now, also the word evidence means proof or conviction. So faith 
is the is the uh, faith is the conviction that we are the we are the things that we believe we we are the things spiritually now speaking we are the things that we are believing for. Oh, my kion. Ni the new the new verba. Ni kumana kana kido we na chona kauti chene. So faith gives us. The substance of the things we are hoping for. The thing that we hope for, now faith gave hold of it in that spirit of And the makes it a reality now. Praise the name of a living God. In other words, we would say that faith are the spiritual hands or hands. That it takes the things in the spirit realm, the things that we hope for. Ah, ko uno to se kwa ndeto kana muikio ni mo kwa la makose a kindo kila we 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 pati chebebani na kuweche kikoneka. So faith is the evidence is the evidence of things not seen. Ko ni choki ki ya cha maundo alama toneka. What we are believing we don't see. Kila tu ki ye ko wa choki kona. Faith is the evidence of the things not seen. I have faith. Praise the name of the living God. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. At that particular time, I may be painting, I may be feeling hot. In the wind, I am going to you know, not afraid that you are not. Uh, and I believe by the strength of Jesus I'm healed. So faith brings brings that which I'm hoping for into reality. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. That's how faith works. So the word evidence not uh, faith is the happiness of things not seen. And the praise things not seen, that praise things not seen. Now, uh, that praise, that praise of uh, things not seen. Now, that praise, that that praise of things not seen. Now, 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 you do not see the answer with your physical eyes. You can't see it physically. But faith is the proof or conviction that the answer is yours. I have faith that we are going to build a mega, a mega church. I may not see it physically, but in the eye of the Spirit, I can see it. I can walk in it by faith. I can end it by faith because I can see it in my spirit. It is somewhere, somewhere in the spirit. I can connect it with it in the spirit. Praise the name of our living God. Because God has assured us He's going to do it. So faith, faith is the proof. It is the proof and the conviction of the things not seen. We can't see it, but you know it is there. Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in me, and I believe also in my Father. Because in my Father's house are many mansions. And even if you are not so, I would have told you. I believe. Mine is there because God has said it. And what He has said, it is true. It is as real as this podium. It is there. It is existing. Awaiting my my arrival, I find it there. Amen. Amen. So faith ah. Uh, is the is the evidence of the things not seen? For we the we kio niki kide cha maundo matoneka. Amen. Amen. We do not see it physically. Do you want to hear? Let us look at Hebrews eleven twenty seven. But it is there in the kibo. Let us look at Hebrews eleven twenty seven. 
how you can grasp things how you can grasp things that you cannot see physically by faith Hebrews 11 verse 27 the Bible says Hebrews 11 verse 27 by faith he left Egypt not fearing the king's anger uh-huh. He persevered because he saw him always invisible. He believed there is something. He believed there is something better than what I'm experiencing now. Ni waikie kana be kindo kisia ngombe wa kini na choyu. And by faith he left Egypt. Na kwando amuikio au ma misi. Not just leaving Egypt but he left the palace. Na cho kuma misi litu au me pa masumbe. The place where everybody wants to be. Ah pando bala kila mundu enda pindi wa. There is anything that you need it is in the palace. Bala be kila kindo mundu enda. The state ensures that there is everything in the palace. And especially in the in the kingdoms. In the kingdom, things operate differently. Because in a kingdom, things not happen like in a democratic countries. In a kingdom, the king owns everything. Everything belongs to the king. The land, everything belongs to the king. Who is the name of the living God? The people are subject to the king. So, Moses left such kind of a place. He went because he was looking for a better land. He was looking for a better kingdom. Because by faith he could see the invisible. The one that could not be seen. He saw Jesus in the eye of the Spirit. He saw the land that God had promised. He saw a better city than the cities of Egypt. And because he was convinced it is there, he took action. Because he could see it in the spirit. And he loved Egypt. When he was leaving Egypt, he was not going to nowhere. He knew I am there is somewhere better than where I am. Because God has promised it. God has promised it. God has it. God has promised 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 it. God has what faith has promised you. You align your action according to what you believe. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So faith is being completely sure of something. It is being completely sure of something. Because God has said it, it is there, it is real, it is mine, and now I can walk towards it. It is being completely sure as opposed to wishing or hoping for something. Because when you are hoping for something, I hope it's going to rain. I may hope it's going to rain, but I fail to carry an umbrella. But if I have faith it's going to rain, I will be seen carrying an 
camera. I've been seen wearing a red cloth. Because I am convinced beyond the reasonable doubt. No, 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 no. It's going to rain. I'm not hoping for rain. I feel it. I sense it. I see it. Therefore, I arrive myself. A good example. Uh, Elijah is praying for rain. Because God has promised me the time for me to bring rain. And he went on his knees to pray for rain. Seven times praying. And he saw a confirmation. He believed that this rain. He saw it coming. In the spirit realm, he experienced it. And he sent a word to, 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 to King Herod. God tell the king to run because rain is coming. So the name of a living God. And he, the king ran on his horse. And Elijah ran on feet. For it is the name of a living God. Amen. And it rains. Elijah was not hoping. You can't tell the king while he is celebrating in his bar where to run. When you are not sure of what you are saying, you may put your life into danger. But Elijah was convinced beyond the reason about that. He was assured. Because God has said it. It is not something he was thinking. This was not imaginary. It was the reality. Because this was the time God had promised is going to reign. Amen. Amen. So faith is believing that you have received it. What God has said, you believe I have it. It is mine. Let us look at the word of God in the book of uh, Mark. Mark 11, verse 23. Mark 11, 23. Mark is after Matthew and the people of Mark 11, 23. Mark 11, 23. Mark 11, 23. Mark 11, 23. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their hearts, but believes what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Muswa wa mengweli na itatu. Nibwa nengumwea, ola ukatabi ya kiimaki, kuwa no kikwa ukangani, ona na na kete wa na nzika goni yake ili akiti kila kana undo a uh, undo uno kwasia no kwekwa usu yes. ake kwa o kondo a uni ngomwea maundo onde o ala mu kwicha mukiboya iti kila ikana ni mu mosa na mukedi wa mwina mo yes believe you have received it it is it will be yours iti kila ikana mwina mo na ni mu kumosa because all things Whatever you pray and you ask, you believe that you have received them. Then they shall be granted to you. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. If you are believing you are going to receive something in the future, then you are operating in hope, not faith. If you believe that uh, I will go to university, you are in class 8, now we stand at eight. Or you are in secondary? And now we secondary. And you say, I'm, I will go to university. Now we have Ninga the university. That is not faith. Uh, that is hope. It is good to have hope. Because out of hope, 
Praise the name of the living God. Amen. It is good to be hopeful. But hope is for the things of the future. But faith is the now. The things for now. Amen. Amen. So it's not bad to have hope. You begin with hope. You begin by aligning your thoughts. No, according to the word of God. Then you believe what the word of God says. No, ye the name of the living God. So it's not bad to have hope. But you when it becomes to faith, it is something now that you come to God. It is something that you seriously want. And the God has has convinced you this is for you. You are asking God for it. Because God has promised it in His word. You believe God is able to do it. You believe you are going to receive it. You believe that the prayer is going to happen. Things are going to change. I believe this family will never be the same again. That is faith in operation. Because you are expecting change. Praise the name of the living God. Your eyes are open to see things change. You are expecting to see it. Praise the name of the living God. But hope is something that is may it may not happen. It may it may not happen. It may it may not happen. So even you may not even pray for it. Because you believe that God will do it. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. 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 Amen. Praise the name of the you believe that you have received it at the time you pray. Amen. Amen. And this is not the attitude we should be having. And especially, and especially when it is a, 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 when you come to God in prayer. You should have this attitude. That what I am asking God, I, I feel it is mine. I believe it is mine. Because the word of God tells me so. Praise the name of the living God. There are also other, other factors that you also look at. But I don't want to get into those things because they are outside what I'm talking about. But also when you look at the season of your life. Which season are you in? Going back to what I said, said about Elijah. Even Elijah would have gone to pray after three years. Hoping that is going to rain. It would not have rained. Because according to the calendar of God. According to the seasons of God. It was three and a half years. Praise the name of the living God. So you could be having hope and going to rain. If you are still rain, don't worry. Don't worry, it's going to rain this year. If that was hoping, but when it was after three and a half years, according to the seasons of God, in the fullness of, of time, praise the name of the living God. Now he had a mature faith. Praise the name of the living God. That's why he could not come out of his knees. Because we knew this is the season. So you must also look at the, what is the 
Kansas. Kwa una waelo sisi ya mabi na nimeku. Kwa in the name of the living God. Amen. You cannot tell me I have believing. I have, I have faith I will get. I will have a holy wedding. Ah, uh, tutuona kwa sani na mwiki. Miki ya kana nimbi na wanarusi. And you tell me you have faith. No imbi ya wina mwiki. Yet you are in form four. Now we form four. Or you are in form two. Kana we form two. You pray until three years are over. Uka mwaya ni nami ya geta three dele. And that is hope. Na usi ni upa. It is not bad. But that is hot because that is not your season. But in the name of the living God. Amen. Amen. You also look there are factors that because faith is not something that it is not imaginary. No, no, we kill John. Do I quit him? There are not the things we cook in our minds. See, my own mama, mama, who sell their kids. One has to be a sana. Amen. That's why the Bible says, "Lord, teach me how to number my years." See, John. Ah, David, you can say, "We are imani son do all the labi." So I may apply. My heart to wisdom. Ni kanando kumijeko ya kwa na uwe. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Yes, there are things that you you should you should have mental understanding. Pe maundwa ile kuidi wa namo umesi akidi ni aku. The seasons of God. Ma vinda manga. In your life. Da yone wa. So that when you pray. Ni kana ila uwe. You will not pray amiss. Nuka boya, no ibo ya boya. Because the Bible says you pray and you don't receive. No, no, because when you pray, no, no, when you pray, you pray a miss. You pray according to your own thinking. We pray according to your own thinking and imaginations. But there are things that you are sure of. In the prayer, Mountu, we keep it to ourselves. Praise the name of the living God. I know it's the will of God for me to be healed. The Bible says by the stripes of Jesus. I am healed. So I come aligning my body to divine healing. In a name, I am still experiencing pain on my body. I tell my body it's not my side, it's not my feeling. I believe I'm healed. Kinia ya mwewa kwa nanti mwea chifu ondo wa kona Nini ni kwa ondo wa mwekio Nini ni sini mwosye This is the will of God Nundu osu ni mwa Nundu ni mwa kwenda kwa angayi Praise the name of the living God Acha yo kwe Amen The same way when we come to God in independence Ocha u ila toka mbe wangayi tuchumbu na Because the Bible says If we say we do not have sin Nundu ya sento ni ake Ila tuwa sento ina anayi We make it a liar Tumutu iki da siya mwkengayi And the truth is not in us Na uwewe indene wito But if we repent of our sins Ini ila toka umulanda. He is faithful. Ila toka umulanda hizi to ni muike mu. To give our our us our sins. Kutoe kiana hizi to. And blind us from all unrighteousness. Na kutoe zakuma ula uta ulunga lugo amde. So when I come to God. Oh ila no kap me wanga hizi. After the conviction of my sin. Iti na kuiki na na ya kwa. And I repent my sins. Na ndiyo kula na ya kwa. I am convinced beyond reason about that. Kiti wa ni muike injeki. I am forgiven of my sins. Kana ni ni na kwa. I am there is no condemnation. It is me. Because after I repent, no, no, it's now a kumbula. Jesus, yes, so cleanses me from all unrighteousness. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So I can stand and say I am not guilty. Kwa uno ni unga mena unyauna pasia. I am wrong to no man. Ye dina usili lo nongi. I am wrong to no man. Kwa imo ndo nebe chese. Why? Niki. Because I have repented of my sins. No, 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 no. And once I repent my sins. Na ni mineta kumbula. I believe. That he is faithful to forgive me and to cleanse me of all my unrighteousness. Amen. So you believe you have received it by the time you pray. It is not something imaginary. You are fully persuaded. It has happened. It is true. Like Abraham and I. When he was promised by God a son, ila wadi wenye gai mwana. He was one hundred years of age. Aye wamiaka yani. Sarah was ninety years. Na mukawa ke aye wamiaka miongo kila. But he believed again as hope. Indi aye kia ukando na wipati. He didn't look at his physical condition. Ale a kusisi ya mabinda mke. He didn't look at the engines. Why? Ale a kusisi ya mukawa ke mupo. He looked. The one who was promised. The one who created the heart. The one who created the womb. The one who created the womb. Who is the name of the living God? Amen. If he says this womb is going to 
going to conceive. Now whom is going to conceive? So I have no doubt. I believe it. And now I prepare for receiving your son. And my son is coming. I'm a father of many nations. Who is the name of a little God? And he lives as a father of many nations. And he looks for wealth as a man of great nations. Because he believed that the one who has promised is faithful. The Bible says he believed against his hope. He believed against and he believed. Who is the name of a living God? He believed such that there was no element of doubt in him and for sure the son came. Amen. 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 You can read that story in the, in the book of Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 21. I know me. I know me. So the bottom line is you believe that you have received it at the time you pray. You believe you have received it at the time you pray. Praise the name of a living God. Amen. And let your thoughts from that moment be lined with what you are believing. Converse positive. When you come before God, begin to thank God for it. No, you can be one. Can you be able to pray? Tell you, Father, that you have my prayer. I thank you because you are doing it. I thank you because I'm receiving it. Because you have promised me. No, 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 but it. Praise the name of a living God. Amen. And for sure, it's going to be yours. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you because of this teaching on faith. Holy Spirit of God, may you help us as we live every day because you say the steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord. We, we pray that you may help us. Help us as we face challenges of life. Help us situations and circumstances. May you help us to understand the timings, the timings of God. And the will of God for our life in every circumstance. So that we may act by faith. So that Lord, when we come to you. We may come to you, Father. Fully persuaded. Fully assured. That whatever we ask of you, Lord, we have received it. It is ours. We are waiting for the manifestation. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. And it is in the name of Jesus that you do pray and do believe. May the Lord help you receive whatever you want. May the Lord help you receive whatever you want from Him. May you not waver in your faith. May you remain faithful to what you believe. May you remain faithful to what you believe. May you align your life according to what you believe. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you so much. Uh, for those who are following us online, God bless you. As you join us next time, we conclude that topic on faith. You are so welcome in our today's service. And we are going to get blessed together. So praise and worship team, please come and take over.